please welcome the fabulous one and only Jacket Harry. Oh my God. You seen all of this love? We love you so much. Thank you so much for coming to the Jennifer Hudson Show. Oh, thank you. It's a dream and an honor to have you here. Thank you. You are loved dearly. Now, I remember we met a few years ago at the Norman Lear. Mm -hmm. Live in front of the studio audience yes. in Jefferson. They told you, and I was hating on you. <laughs> they didn't tell you. No, it's true. It's true, because I'm trying to check my ego for 2023. Good oh. luck with that. OK. Um, but. Um, you, yeah, because you, you had to sing the uh, title song, uh -huh. Moving On Up. Uh, you better you sing. Were rehearsing and everything, you know, she was singing, you know, of course, her, her eyeballs out. <laughs> and I was back then, I had to come, my scene was right after yours. And I was back there brooding, you know, and <laughs> Kerry Washington came up. She said, what's the matter, Jack? I said, well, she gonna sing, and I gotta come out right after her, and ain't no break and everything. I, don't know. I said, I feel like Jay-Z. She <laughs> said, when he was doing the battle rap with, with you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, DMX, God bless his soul. And he said he was there, and, you know, he came out, and you came out, you peed, and I'm moving on up. And they're like, Jack A, now you go. Ah. I, you know, I was like, oh no, I can't come after her. And I was mad. Oh, I was <laughs> like, ooh. And sure enough, you shut it down, and they came back. The director, Thank she you. talked to him. They said, okay, we're gonna have a break. Didn't we? We had to stop for what, six minutes? Oh she my shut God. It really? down. You don't remember? I mean, I, I just it, it all been out there thinking. You don't even remember? Yes, ma'am. I mean, I remember. I remember. <laughs> you are the first black woman to win an Emmy for supporting actress in comedy. When you, ooh, child, it's a mess. That's why I had, you know, had somebody escort me out, you know. <laughs> Got a tip these days. <laughs> ooh, I was a mess. What do you remember from that Oh, night? nothing. Uh, um, nothing? Um, it was the 80s, baby. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Oh, love, sex, drugs, rock and roll. No, no drugs for me, but definitely rock and roll. And men, men, men. Men, 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 men. men, men, men. men. It was raining men, baby. <laughs> It was, and I was very successful, and um, that's why now I try to keep my ego in check. It's uh -huh. not always. I'm not, I'm not perfect. But you know, that's why I have to give you your flowers now when I get Cheryl her flowers when she won, Cheryl Lee Ralph, because she she's in her thing now, and she, I didn't know that she wanted it that much. Yes. No, you never Yes, you inspire us so you, much. you don't know people's dreams. That is true. You know, and th that's another thing. When you sang the song and the director said to me, oh, this is a song, she'll sing it and they'll just clap. I said, no, you must not have seen Dream Girl. <laughs> you know, she, she did win a what? Oscar, yeah. you know? <laughs> so th I just like to give people their flowers now. Thank and you. I didn't always, like a lot of people, you know, publicly, because mm -hmm. it sounds, you know who told me that? Maya Angelou, she said it takes courage to be successful. I didn't know what she meant. And you're doing, look at you. This wow. is, it's a lot of pressure. It is. And what they said, to whom? It is. To whom, um, Thank you. I know you heard this, you're a church girl. Yes, sir. To whom much is given, much it's is required. required or expected. Expected. And expected means you got the weight of it on you, but you handle it, go, you handle wow. it. And uh, got my full support, that's why I'm here. Thank you so much. <laughs> We love to give flowers too, and it's because of, of people like yourself that's paved the way for people like myself to come along. You have truly inspired yeah. Just don't all be scared. of us. Don't be scared. And if you get scared, cling to your loved ones and people, you know, your teachers, your mentors, you know, your children, mm -hmm. because they bolster you up. They really do, and they help you sustain, because it can get lonely out here in Hollywood. And, uh, yes, ma'am. You, know, you are right success. about that. Yes, it's lonely at the top. Thank you for letting that me. That night, know. I had a good ball, though. I wasn't lonely that night. <laughs> Who were some of your inspirations <laughs> as an actress coming up? Uh, a woman named Diana Sands. A lot of people don't know her. She, uh, Rosalind Cash, these are the people, Diane Carroll, the late, great Diane Carroll. Yes. I wanted to be like them, a great actress. And I was going to be in terms of a drama. Mm -hmm. Then I just happened to be funny. I got 227, I was so mad. You were what? so mad. What do you mean? Oh, oh God. Because I was gonna be a serious actress and win Tony's and you know, win Oscars and be all that and be powerful. And then I just happened to be funny. And then. <laughs> That was over, and that was a great success. And then I got Sister Sister, which I didn't want to do. You didn't want to do? Uh, uh, really? Uh, Please explain. Like, I didn't want to do. <laughs> God, these pictures. Well, I didn't want to be nobody's mama. You know, I thought I was a hot, sexy, 
You know, I still had it going on. I was going to be somebody's mama, and then I met those girls and fell in love. I met them when they were 13. They were 13? They were just wonderful. Yeah, and I loved it. And it turned out to be even more successful, believe it or not, than 227, because they, they know it, and it's, trans, you know, yes. transitioned and transcended to you and your generation, mm -hmm. which is, you know, knock on wood. Who, who knew? Yeah. You know, I thought I'd be in San Diego in my condo with a, you know, young boy like Cher. <laughs> So talk to us about Days of Our Lives. Who do you play? I play Paulina Price. And of course, she's strong, you know, capable, rich, you know, loves men. She's married, though, thank God, on there, you know, and she wants to take the whole town and make it hers. I said, oh, this is too much. Rich, powerful, loves men, got money. I said, oh, what a stretch. You know? <laughs> so hard for me, but I really enjoy it. And the writers are Ron Calavati, he's the head writer, and the producers, Ken Corday, I mean, and my producer, Albert Alar, they, they wrote for me. And they wrote this part for me, you know, right. which doesn't happen often that, you know, that they write, especially for an, a woman of color, or, you know, African-American descent, or uh, I'm a POC, a person of color. Mm. I like, you make it sound so fancy. And Marla Gibbs plays your mother. Did you ever think that Marla would happen? Gibbs, child, Marla Gibbs is a mess. Isn't she? 91. She's 91. 91. Wow. She called me up at about 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the morning. She said, hey, just like that, hey, Jack, hey, what's what mean? Y'all know. I look at the phone. I said, you better ask your daughter. I ain't talking about that 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> then come to work. She said, girl, you didn't tell me that's what that <laughs> meant. She said, oh, now I know. She said, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> she bought it? On her phone. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, OK, Mama. OK. We, see uh -huh. you, we listened to it a couple of dozen times. A couple of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. OK, so Valentine's Day was a few days ago. Are you, were you, are you looking for love? Dating him? Uh, I'm gonna be nice. I ain't gonna be fresh, you know? I'm not looking for love. I'm looking to get. <laughs> busy. Oh, oh, okay, busy. Uh -huh. Or get somebody's social security check, you know? <laughs> I'm staying in my lane, girl. No, really. I, I had a bad breakup, uh -huh. so. Oh. It was good, though, you know, but <laughs> not for me. I don't know. I don't have the answers anymore. I used to. I thought I did. But I do not have the answers, especially during COVID. Because yeah. you're keeping a lot in, and now you want to come out real strong, and then you get scared. You yeah. know, and I want to go online, but I can't do that because I, I don't want to date no normal men, you know, no nine to five. They don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad y'all got a job. You know, I'm glad y'all got a job, but, I, you know, they can't handle me. I'm too crazy, you know? <laughs> All over the place. You too, you too. You can't do it. Listen, okay. <laughs> so, who is your current celebrity crush? Do you have one? Uh, yeah, Dave Bautista. Ooh. Y'all know who that is? Ooh. Oh. Honey, I saw that glass on your knife. Thought I said, yeah, I'll get a knife out, baby. <laughs> y'all haven't seen it because he takes his clothes. Oh, y'all know already. But I didn't know he looked he, like that. He looked like that. Oh, I was in love. You in love? Yes, I think he's season? wonderful. Yes. Have you met him? No, I'm scared now. You oh, scared? No. <laughs> he had everything out. <laughs> if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.